In this corner, Project Blank Slate. It's our 1969 Camaro that's powered by a 502 cubic inch LS engine, naturally aspirated and running fast Easy EFI 2.0. In this corner, our 1966 Nova Max Street. Really different engine. It's a big block with a Pro Charger and water methanol injection. Now using fast, easy EFI 2.0 made it simple to get this car running and running well thanks to its self-learning capability. The Nova, well, that's gonna be a different story. We've got the added complications of boost and water methanol injection. So we're stepping up to fast XFI 2.0 system and we're gonna enlist a little expert help to get it up and running. The XFI 2.0 system brings a lot of great features to the party, stuff that racers will appreciate, but also good things for a high-end street build like this. Now, we want to get this engine running well, not just on the dyno and not just at the drag strip, but also on the street. Okay, this is Joe Trujillo from West Tech Performance in Mira Loma, California. How many cars do you normally tune in a year? We do at a minimum two a day, 365 days a year, so we do a lot of tuning over there. <laughs> That's a lot. Now, you've worked with a bunch of different kinds of EFI as well, right? Yes, we do them all. And you've had hands-on XFI 2.0 before? Yes, been working with Fast for a lot of years. Right on. Now, this is going to present some challenges, I think, because we've got boost, we've got water methanol injection, we're running pump gas, and we also want this to be drivable on the street. So what are you going to have to do to make that happen? Basically, pull a bunch of timing early and you know, make sure we get our air fuels nice and safe and tighten up the corrections so that way the O2 doesn't get out of control and falsely start adding a bunch of fuel for the methanol coming in. See, now this is the reason why we brought you in on this. Now, I'm going to get out of your way and let you get started on this. We'll check back in a little bit and see how it's going. Okay. With all the displacement and boost this engine has, we know it's going to make a ton of power. Joe's job is to get us there safely and smoothly, and to do that, he's taking the tune-up in small steps and keeping an eye on how the engine reacts. The initial pull made 635.0 horsepower and 673.8 pound-feet of torque. All right, now when you tune an engine like this one, where do you start? Do you have like a canned baseline tune or you just kind of know where you're gonna, where you need to begin? Fast does have a lot of their base tune-ups in there and you can basically pick through their stuff or you could just start from scratch if you're an advanced tuner. After a half dozen tweaks, Joe got us to 852.0 horsepower and 773.7 pound-feet of torque. There's obviously going to be spots on the map that the engine isn't going to visit very often. And in the limited amount of time that you have to tune something like this, how do you set up those, those kind of dark corners? You kind of just look at your 3D graph and you see the areas that you visited really, you know, spent quite a bit of time and then just smooth them on over. Your instant boost areas, you know where it's going to, the bubble's actually going to track and where it's going to go. So what you basically do is take that trend and you have an idea of what the motor wants and start to just move that on over to the other areas. And same with bar throttle, same with cruise, all that stuff. All right, you got our tune dialed in. Let me ask you this to start off with. Was there any surprises, anything out of the ordinary that happened with this? No, just normal, standard operating procedure. You know, XFI makes it real easy that way. Now, let's say I'm a guy who knows a little bit about tuning, you know, like maybe I've worked with carburetors before or something like that, and I want to jump into electronic fuel injection. Am I going to have like a really steep learning curve with XFI 2.0? Not really. The biggest thing is wiring. Make sure all your wiring's correct. And then after that, once you know the tables that actually work like a carburetor, it'll come real easy. Now obviously there was more to what you were doing here than just doing full throttle pulls. Uh, what else were you doing to get the part throttle drivability for our street manners uh, really dialed in? Um, basically trying to steady state an RPM and throttle position and let the transmission do its shifting and watch as it upshifts, load's gonna change and put it in a different part of the map and making sure all that stuff is all nice and smooth. You know, as you tip into the throttle to make sure you got enough fuel in there, you're, you know, so that way you don't go lean or anything like that or over rich and make it stumble, bobble. You know, there's quite a bit to it. Now, let's get to the good part. The numbers, what did it do? 
It made 900 horse and 799 point something foot pounds of torque. Oh, so close. That's, this is gonna be an awesome ride on the street. I really appreciate you coming out here and fixing it up for us. How cool is it that we've got this big block blown Nova that's gonna drive as well on the street as our Camaro does? I can't wait to test it out. We've got a little bit more work to do, obviously, on the car before it's quite ready for street duty, but I think we gotta get at least a little taste.